Hello everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com and in today's lesson I'll be showing you guys how to play Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. We'll be focusing on the intro and the verse in this video, which sounds like this. Three, four. All right, so we'll be getting through that much in this video, but over at hdpiano.com, I'll be teaching you guys the entire song from top to bottom, including a melody version for those of you that are looking to play the melody in the right hand, in case you're not singing or working with the singer. That way it sounds like the record on the piano. Okay, so I hope to see you there after this if you're not there already. Before I dive in, just a quick question. So in 1998, I was seven years old. I was living outside of Seattle in the suburbs, probably just practicing a lot of piano. And I'm curious, where were you guys at in your lives back in 1998? Had your lives even begun? Uh, comment below with a little window into your past. All right. Well, we are in the key of D major. And this song is entirely diatonic, meaning we're only going to be working with the seven notes of this major scale. So it's very helpful to know it well. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Okie doke. Here's middle C here. So I said it's in D major, but we do start in the relative minor. B minor 7 is our first chord. And uh, it sounds pretty dark, and the intro kind of has this dark feel about it, and then it kind of opens up and brightens up a little bit in the verse. And there's also some tempo changes, but we'll talk about all that in just a second. Uh, meter changes, actually, not tempo changes. So, B minor, here's our first chord. We're going to look at the right hand first, and uh, we start on D, and we're trying to emulate the guitar, right? This is a very guitar-driven piece, and, you know, we can't just strum on a piano, so we kind of have to you know, re-articulate certain notes to kind of create that energy, that push that a guitar kind of naturally has. So we're doing this. All right, so you can hear that interior melody, which we hear on the record, which is D, A, G, F sharp, E, D. And we're just filling it in with upbeats on B, essentially. So we're dealing with 16th notes here. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Woof, that's a mouthful to count. Um, but it's just a repeating pattern. Essentially, whenever there's space in the melody or in this interior melody line here, then we just fill it in with upbeats on B. So see if you can play along. Three, four. One. One more time. One, two. Uh, let me try that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So that's what's happening in our right. D, A, G, F sharp, E. Straight out of that major scale. Now, let's look at the left. The left and the right are going to match up, so whenever we hit one of these interior melody notes in the right, um, we're pretty much always going to be hitting a note in the left. It's kind of this pop clave. Alright, the Goo Goo Dolls were doing it before all those top 40 hit writers of, of the uh, modern day, right? feel that rhythm it's just so pervasive it's in so much music these days so we have octave b's in our left and we're going to hit this twice then we're going to stretch out to b and c sharp and then we're going to bring our bottom note up to d and then our top note up to d as well so two b's two b's and c sharps d and c sharp and then double d's all right, one E and a two and three E and a 
four, and. That's our rhythm, nice and slow. One E and a two, and three E and a four, and. Let's see if we can add the right in there. One E and a two, and three E and a four, four E and, uh, shoot, four E and a. Oof, I don't know if I can count and play at the same time, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Three, four. Alright, so for our next measure, we're going to land on G major 7. Octave G's in the left, G, uh, F sharp in the right. Now we kind of know the right hand already, so let's take a look at the left. Same rhythm, but this time we're descending. So we have G's, now we take that top G to F sharp, and then just a quarter note on G and D. Alright, so if we do it hands together, both measures, it looks like this. Three, four. Then we repeat, and the only difference here is we just play the D and the B together at first. Alright, so if anybody asks you if you can play guitar, you can be like, no, but I can play Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls on piano. And uh, they'll be like, wow, cool. Check it out one more time, the intro. So if you're still following along, then you can always use speed control to kind of slow down the video, loop it, do whatever you need to do to get that under your fingers. And basically the eighth note is here, right? Duck, go, 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 go. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's that meter change I was talking about. Technically the tempo remains the same because the eighth note is continuous, but instead of feeling it in groupings of two, we're feeling it in groupings of three. So that's moving into six, eight. So one, uh, uh, three, four. Four and one, two, three, four. Technically it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can get a sense how the pulse continues, but obviously it's a different feeling. And, uh, you know, we're opening up to D major, so it's quite the contrast between the intro and the verse. Well, we're also emulating some droning guitars, but I think this is a bit easier. Um, let's first start by just getting this going between our two hands. All right, so the left hand is playing steady eighth notes on D. One, two, E, and a three. So between the second and third, we're going to play upbeats in the right. One, two, and three, and 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 one. All right, this is basically how we're emulating the guitars on the piano, and we're going to use our remaining fingers to fill out the harmony a little more. So for the first verse, which is eight bars, we're just going to play roots in the left and continue this drone between the thumb and the right hand. So our first chord is D major and then we have E minor, and then we have G major. So we have three beats of D, three beats of E, and then six beats of G. Check it out. One, two, three, one, uh, whoops. One, two. I'm just not gonna count, it's too hard, so here we go. One, two, three. All right, there's our first two measures. So that was a low D, a low E, and a G. Now our next two measures are similar, but we start on B and we walk down to G. So B minor, A, and G. So let's see if we can do all four measures. One, two, three. All right, I realized I kind of lied there. That B minor, we are gonna take that drone up to F sharp, and then down to E for our A chord. Just frees up a little room in the left hand so it doesn't sound too muddy. 
All right, so that's it. All right, but your thumb can stay on autopilot. It's just going like this, just wherever the hand takes it, right? That shape remains consistent. Okay, now the next four measures are identical, except at the end we hear this little kind of sparkle from the record. Check it out. So that was one, two, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. F sharp, G, D. Great. So we've got eight measures of the verse down, and now it's going to repeat, but we're going to add another interior voice in the right hand. So we're going to use this F sharp here with our thumb, and then that's going to go to G when we have E in the left hand. That gives us E minor seven. And then it's going to go to B for G major. That gives us G major. All right, so try that for the first two measures. One, two, three. Okay, very nice. Moving on, we're gonna keep it on B for B minor. And then we're gonna bring it up to C sharp for A major. And then back to B for G major. All right, so that looks like this. going to repeat. All right, and then we just have a similar motif at the end of that second verse there. Um, we go to a G, and then we open up to octave Ds, and if you can hit it, it would be a... You can, you can squeeze that B in there, but I can't quite reach it, so I'm just doing octave Ds. All right, I'll go ahead and play you guys out with the whole verse, and then we'll see you over at hdpiano.com to learn the rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's our lick. Bring in the harmony. One more time. All right. There you have it. So we'll see you over at hdpiano.com. For the rest, my name is Devin with hdpiano.com. That's a little redundant. And while I have you here, I hope you can like and subscribe here on YouTube and follow us across social media. That way you'll know about all of our upcoming tutorials. We'll talk to you guys soon.